Okay, so my Mini 2 finally took the uh, plunge, managed to uh, sink it in the pool here a few days ago. It went down, got it out just a few minutes later, but it was submerged. And I've left it uh, sitting out in the sun for several days out here in the hot Vegas uh, sun here, trying to dry it out. And this is what happens now when I put the battery in. Immediately, I get these two battery indicator lights here on the outside. And I haven't even pushed the power button yet. Now when I push the power button, Okay, so the gimbal didn't go through the uh, motions of uh, trying to center itself. However, on the fly app, camera is working. And I'm going to open this thing up and see if I can't figure out what's wrong with it. I think quite possibly it is just the uh, ESC and I uh, might be able to... Uh, change the connection or if I have to I'll go ahead and replace the ESC so we'll get started start by removing the four screws here 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 and here on the casing casing screws are removed and now I'm going to go ahead and pry the casing apart using these little screwdrivers and a putty knife and I'm starting up front and just work away along the side here and then the back. Okay, cover came off pretty easily. Actually, uh, I repaired the gimbal uh, oh, about six months ago, I think it was. So the case came off pretty easy the second time. It's a little harder the first time. Anyway, right there is our ESC board. And you can see the connector over there on the side. And uh, I'm going to see what I can do about that. And the ESC basically supplies the current uh, from the battery to all four motors and other components. So uh, if there's a fault there, it's going to affect everything. And here you can see the battery just connects directly to the ESC right there. And you can see where we're getting these uh, two lights on the battery LEDs. And the connector for the ESC is right here. And going out to the motor, there's three solder joints here, another motor there, another one here, and here. So replacing the ESC is just a matter of unsoldering the connectors going out to the various motors. And I think there's, looks like there's three screws that uh, hold the ESC board on. So if we have to, we'll get another ESC board. But first, we're going to try and play around with this connector and see if we can uh, make any headway doing that. Okay, there's a little bit of hot glue on either side of the connector, here and here, and I'm going to heat that up with a hot air gun and uh, to try and pry this connector off and reattach it. So I actually just heated up this nail on the stove and used that to remove the glue on both sides of it. That worked out pretty good. That reduces the chance of overheating anything with a hot air gun. And with the glue removed, the connector just lifts right off of there. came off pretty easy. I'm going to clean that up. Not sure how well that's showing up in there, but uh, both sides and reattach it. See if that makes any difference. If it doesn't, we'll go ahead and uh, replace the whole ESC board here. Yeah, it actually does look kind of dirty right in that area, right there on that side. So, I'll try and clean that up. See if it makes a difference. Okay, I went ahead and cleaned up the board uh, using alcohol. And I'm going to go ahead and put this attachment back on, and uh, we'll see if it works. Okay, connector's back on. Well, looks like we still have the same issue. So, we'll probably have to go ahead and uh, replace this control board right here. It's not a very big job. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove the two screws on the bottom shelf. I've already done that so that I can remove that and clean up the uh, flight controller a little bit. And I'm just going ahead and prying off that bottom cover. And just comes off like that. And we'll remove the cover plate. Looks like there's three screws, one, two, and there's a third one over here. It had a little seal on it. 
These three screws are a little smaller than the other, so for sure you want to separate these from the other. Just lifts right off very easily. And that gives us really good access to the uh, flight controller, at least part of it. So I can go ahead and try and clean up uh, that board right there, a little alcohol, see what we get. Cleaned up the flight controller as best I can with some more alcohol, and I'm gonna go ahead and put in the battery. And we'll push the battery in, see if that fixes it. Nope. So cleaning up the uh, flight controller and the ESC did not repair the drone. But I'm going to go ahead and order a new ESC. Uh, I can get them for about $40, $42 from Hong Kong. It's going to take several weeks to get here, so uh, stay tuned. We'll do part two in a few weeks, and we'll see if that corrects the problem.